Hi everyone. Um, well, we don't have so uh, many Chris members attending the meeting this time. Um, I suppose it's partly because it was a, a bit of a, a regular meeting. Um, but uh, let's start. And so I see um, Nirani and John and just myself from the Chris team. So we are pretty small, I guess, this time. Um, and uh, what I wanted to discuss at the call this time was to um, discuss about the ITG response from the CRISP team and um, give a little bit of the update about the, the IPR intellectual property uh, rights issue. And then also um, we confirm the status on the SLA version two. Um, is there anything else that, um, Anyone like to discuss at the call today? I don't see any hands. Um, so let's just um, go ahead and um, discuss about um, the ICG response. Oh, great um, to have Mwendua joining us. So. Um, so the current status is that uh, Michael has compiled um, our responses for the 12 questions from the ICG. And um, both myself and Nurani observed that um, when we actually look at the overall responses in general, there's a lot of focus just on the number community proposal, which is, I mean, which is very much in line with um, with what we try to do. But I think it's still worth making even a very brief comment about other two functions as well, um, just to be supportive of um, the overall profile proposal in general, that it covers all key points. And I've also sent um, some of the points that uh, we'd like to add as a general comment for um, question two. So that's the current status. And um, I don't know, um, Nurani, do you have anything else to add as a um, status update from your side? No, okay, right, right. All right, yeah, I saw, I just saw the chat. Okay, noted. Um, and then thanks so very much, Mwendua, for uh, making a suggestion on additional um, points on the recent announcement from the ICANN board um, to re um, add to the response for uh, question two. I think that's an excellent point, so let's um, incorporate that. And um, so I've sent some there just to share um, the additional points that I've added is that um, overall um, I've added a general observation about the other two um, proposals um, in addition to the number um, proposal on each of the questions. And I suppose the notable one is that, um, for example, the part that covers about um, accountability and workability, um, I just um, added an observation that the fact that each of the INA functions are very separate. So um, by each of the operational communities, um, covering what is needed from their perspective in terms of um, accountability or workability, that it actually, if you combine them together, it actually um, covers all necessary aspects of the, INA, um, the three INA functions. And that's why we don't observe any gaps. Uh, I just thought that um, it might be something that um, it's worth adding as a, a backup um, evidence on why we think that um, um, the combined proposal um, covers all the necessary elements on these um, two points. And on, on question um, 12, I first wanted to be very supportive of the transition in general, that um, it is actually leading up to the, um, the oversight mechanism that is bottom-up community-based, which is very much in line with the principles of how the internet works and how our community works. So I just thought that that's something that um, we want to be expressing support. Another thing is that um, we express support for the NTIA criteria itself. And this is where I quoted ISOC's paper on this. 
And uh, thanks very much, um, Nurani, for this was actually an idea uh, from Nurani to to um, make reference to it, and I, I think that's a very good point. So I haven't actually quoted anything from the ISOC paper at this stage, and I just simply said that uh, this is like uh, backed up that the fact that the NTA criteria is very much in line with how the internet works, the spirit of a, um, the internet community. And then I just like um, added the refer to the document as an evidence to support NTIA's criteria. Um, and um, I, I've made two additional points. Um, so the third point is that um, I've supported the ICG process that um, this has been um, very um, representative of different um, groups of people. I haven't quite used the word multi-stakeholder, but I don't know. Um, maybe we, sh we should be more straightforward and say that it's multi-stakeholder. Uh, and also that it's been very respectful of um, um, the process by each of the uh, three operational communities. So that's something that um, I've added. And lastly, I've also made a point about um, um, in the future steps, we would expect this um, transition to, to continue to happen in a timely manner and in line with the timelines. So these are the um, points that I felt that it was important to add. And um, I'd like to see if there's anything else that uh, we think we should emphasize and especially to explicitly express support, um, not just in, in terms of the details of the proposal, but, you know, the process in general, any messaging that uh, we think is important. Um, so let's see if there are any suggestions. So on hand from Nurani. Thanks, Izumi. And, uh, and I'll be honest and say I've only uh, scanned through the changes you've made. Um, I've been stuck in a, a few meetings today. But from what I've seen so far, I really, I really like what you've added. Um, could everyone please mute? Maybe jean Bier and Moendwa. Thanks, Moendwa. Okay, that's better. Thanks. Um, so I really like the, the the parts that you've added because, well, as I said on the list, I think um, while we can only really speak for the numbers community, it needs to have a, sort of a broader support. And I'll have a bit more of a look, especially on the question 12, because I think that's uh, where we want to, um, you know, add any other comments that we we um, we have about the transition in general, and if we see if we need to beef that up. I see that you've written quite a, quite a bit there, Izumi. I really appreciate um, the work you've done there, um, and I also uh, liked Moenwa's uh, edition there about the board statement. Um, and then I will have a. I'll try to rework this uh, or, or work on this tonight, but. Just another reflection, and, and that's that we're hoping that this sort of response will also inspire others to respond. And um, I think it would be good if we can also um, take some of the text and, um, not quite sure how to say, but maybe uh, modularize it so that it's easy for people to even, you know, copy or rewrite parts of the text if they support it and maybe even add some broader statements of principle that um, sort of helps guide others. Um, I can have a stab at that tonight if people think that makes sense, but my thinking is that I'm a little bit concerned about the lack of response to the uh, ICG um, proposal so far. And like we've said, we know in our community, if people aren't uh, happy in general, they're not gonna speak up. But I think it's really important that we get people to support the proposal. Uh, so if we can write our text in a way that it's easy for people to just kind of take snippets of it, if they, that they kind of, um, that they feel they can support, then that'd be great. Um, and then just the final point that I think we agreed on doing that, but uh, when we then send out uh, our response that we, again, ask people to comment. And I think it's good that we are 
crystal clear on that they do not need to use the form and they do not need to answer all the questions. So, uh, and that even just a general statement of support is very, very helpful in this process. Thanks. Thank you very much, um, Narani. I, I completely agree. Um, so on the first, on your, um, um, you know, thank, thank you firstly for volunteering to um, do more work on the Chris team response. Um, I've added some points, but I'm actually aware that um, wording um, probably needs to brush up and um, maybe we, we need more backup uh, evidence. So it's great that um, if you can work on that. And then on the second point about encouraging um, our community members to to make comment and um, and um, and we might want to have like I don't know like show an example on how we could respond and that um, we give assurance that we don't have to answer all the questions. I totally agree. Um, putting you know off the hat um, as the chair a little bit. Um, just to show that um, I observe something similar is that I'm trying to do similar work within the Japanese community, and all, obviously, you know, it really puts a lot of people off in trying to uh, respond to the questions, especially there are um, 12, and then the contents are pretty difficult. So one of the things that um, our community is trying to do is like develop a, a, a common text um, to respond for question 12. And then comment about yeah the general support the general principle support for the process or something like that and then calling for people to sign up for it so that they don't have to like draft the responses themselves but they just if they want to put themselves as supporters they can do that so I'm not suggesting that, that we do exactly the same but I think um, yeah we can maybe um, yeah show an example or yeah, maybe encourage if people among themselves feel that um, they want to like uh, you know make a, a joint submission. That is also possible or or something like that. So um, okay, I see hand from Nurani. Um, so let's go um, to Nurani again. Yeah, sorry, sorry for, for taking up the floor. I, I just wanted to quickly respond to that. That I think that's a great idea, and it's something we've talked about. Uh, with others in the community. Um, uh, personally, I think the when, when I've discussed it with others in the community, sort of having several sign up to one text, um, I've tried to advocate that I'd rather that several uh, community members submit the same text individually to the ICG than that they all sign the same text. Uh, I think that's a lot stronger. Um, and I think it's it's good if you know if there's text that people can can copy and then rewrite or modify if they see fit. Um, I think that that would be. Um, I'm not telling you how to do things in the Japanese community, but but I think um, you know in terms of um, I, the ICG showing that it has support for the proposal, uh, I think that um, that makes a lot of sense. Thanks. Okay, sure. Yeah, I, I think as long as we can uh, have a way of showing support from the community and it's not just like, you know, one person. Um, yeah, I think and then, yeah, I can agree that um, the more numbers that um, the ICG will have, um, even if the responses are similar, it would actually be more encouraging. So, um, so maybe as the next step, um, let's fix the date on our response to which we, we can show as an example. And I think um, we probably want to do um, focus more work on question 12, which is the where which is where we can actually make a general observation and likely to be a, a reference to the community. And also we want to start um, writing up bullet points on what are the things that we want to um, um, share as a message to the community. So one thing is that, you know, simply showing support itself is helpful. And um, even if you have no concerns that this is actually um, helps 
and encouraging um, tradition and demonstrating um, community support to the US government. Um, and uh, another thing that um, we've raised in Rani is that um, we don't have to, you don't have to answer, um, try to answer all the questions. And perhaps maybe um, yeah, point to a response that could be used as a reference that um, feel free to use this and make uh, modifications as needed. So I think these are the points that um, I recall has been raised um, already, and um, maybe we can try to see if there's anything more to add. Um, I don't know if we're going to have some. Um, it, it might be too much of a rush if we try to do this by uh, by tomorrow, which would be within this week. Um, so either. If that's that's the case, maybe we can target Monday. So, um, well, um, I I know that Nurani would like to do more work tonight, and maybe we also want to prepare the the announcement to the community as well. Um, so, I don't know if we really try to um, do this um, soon. Tomorrow, by the close of business in the U.S. time, maybe possible, but maybe Monday is safer. So, should we target um, to have this out on um, Monday? Okay, I see no other comments. Um, so, let's target Monday. And so, um, in parallel to the Christine response. Uh, we want to prepare the draft announcements and messaging to the community. Okay, um, so is there anything else that um, people like to um, discuss for the response to the ICG? If not, then um, let's move to um, the intellectual property rights. But just as a recap as the next step, um, so we'll be um, drafting both the um, finalizing our response, the Chris team response to the ICG. Um, so Nurani will be um, working on further work and brushing up our responses. And uh, we really want to focus a lot on the response to question 12, which is more of a general response. Um, and that could be used as a reference um, to others in the numbers community as a possible response that, um, that will submit to the ICG. And then in parallel, at the same time, we'll be working on the, the messaging to the numbers community um, in trying to encourage them to, um, to submit the responses. So we can um, start listing up the bullet points and then um, develop um, the actual announcement text. So, uh, so I think that's what we're going to do for the ICG response. Um, and then let's go to um, IPR. So um, let me just uh, share the current status um, on the IPR. So as you're aware. Um, CWG um, had their placeholder um, on the intellectual property rights issue when they submitted the response to the ICG. So um, they're still discussing um, to, to finalize their position on this issue. And they're, um, they're actually planning to have a call um, to, in, to discuss this and probably other issues uh, later today. And that um, I think at the last call, we, we have made um, observations about Sidley's analysis. So this um, CRISP team observation has been sent um, to the CWG. And um, also, in addition, ICANN board has um, announced a statement about the intellectual property rights that they are willing to transfer the ownership of both the domain and the um, the IANA mark um, uh, based on the community proposal. So this is actually um, this actually confirms that implementation um, to be consistent with the number community proposal is possible. So that's a very good and encouraging sign. 
And um, as far as I'm seeing the uh, discussions in the CWG, I'm, I'm starting to see several support towards um, um, CWG um, seek for the direction that would be consistent with um, the number community proposal so that uh, it will not create inconsist um, in incompatibilities. Uh, well, I wouldn't say that uh, all issues are resolved, and I still see some um, um, issues and comments, especially related to the um, to the IETF trust. But I, I see it like um, at this stage, um, the ICG is uh, recommending a direction where instead of trying to confirm on a particular entity that would. Um, um, have the ownership of the IPR, just um, agree on a general principle and criteria that the ownership of um, this IPR, um, this entity, will be independent from the INA functions operator and leave it there rather than trying to agree on a, a particular organization. Um, so that's the status of discussions in CWG. Um, and um, I'll stop here for now to see if people have any comments and, or questions. So I'm not seeing any um, hands at this stage. Um, and another thing that I observe is that um, so there has been a, a sort of um, not a clear question, but then an observation that if we if the CWG goes on with this direction, that they just agree on the general principle and criteria rather than trying to agree on the IETF trust. It still remains consistent with the number of our community proposal. So I suppose my question to the Chris team is whether we want to actually explicitly um, make a statement to the CWG to confirm that yes, this observation is correct that um, going this direction still um, makes a proposal consistent with the number community proposal. So Alisa Cooper from ICG has already made an observation as the ICG that um, this would be consistent with the ICG proposal. Um, and we are actually want to make a, a statement to the ICG to, as the Chris team. So what do people think? Yeah, um, Narani, please add, um, you yeah. Your comment and observations. Thanks. Um, I'll just add one one comment, and then I'll try to address your question. Uh, so I just wanted to say that I, I um, well, personally, I'm quite encouraged by uh, by the process that, um, in the last sort of um, chunk of time. And that I think that uh, Elisa has been incredibly constructive and, and helpful in this process. Um, and so have um, the IETF people. Um, and I think um, they've also sort of uh, gently, uh, gently pushed the CWG chess to try to reach consensus and, and to not let uh, a few outlying voices um, sort of dominate the whole uh, discussion. Uh, of course, it's up to the CWG to, to uh, reach their own consensus, but I think um, the chairs are certainly very aware of, of the timelines and the sort of delicate situation we're in, um, and they're trying to, to move uh, the discussions on in the CWG to, to conclude um, and that to find is something that's acceptable to everyone. So I think that's very encouraging. Um, and then I just wanted to, and then as for, for your question, I do, I do think it makes sense for us to make a, a question, a, a statement of some sort on a principal level, um, both because it makes it clear to everyone what, what the principles behind the, the CRISP um, the proposal um, were on the IPR part, um, but also to, um, I think, to make it clear, um, I think the, Alyssa was very strong on that, that certain things we need to decide on now and there's certain things that we can leave for implementation. And I think agreeing on a principle level on certain things might actually 
help and may, it might make it clear to everyone what we're actually talking about and then that might also make it easier to let go of some of the implementation issues if we all sort of agree on, on the principles um, behind it. Um, so without having thought much about exact wording, uh, I think it makes sense and I think it would also be good timing and a con constructive thing to do within our own community but also as a signal to the other community. But I'd be happy to hear what others think. Thanks, Narani. Um, I think very useful to hear um, this comment. So um, let's see if anybody else have any other comments on this. Okay, so um, does anybody have any concern um, if we actually um, try to express this observation to the CWG? If I don't see anything, any comments against it, uh, let's um, let's um, prepare a comment to the CWG. So I see no comments, hands. Um, um, so to confirm on the messaging, um, so I think um, both myself and I see from Nurani's comments that um, we, we can make a, a general principle level observation that um, we just stick to the principles and um, instead of going into the details of an option of an entity and implementation details, um, this would still be consistent with the number of community proposal. Uh, and maybe my next question would be that, um, so we have actually expressed a preference um, that we actually try to um, make this um, clarify what we're going to do about this issue before the transition. Um, so do we actually make a statement related to this or do we just stick um, to a general observation that um, as long as um, we have clarity on the principles and criteria that um, it, it will be consistent with a number community proposal. Okay, I don't see any comments. Yeah, comment and consistency is sufficient. Okay, so let's um, let's go to there, and then um, maybe we can circulate a draft and see if people have anything else to add. And well, actually, CWG is going to have a, a call after this. Um, I think at UTC 17. So. It might be helpful if we're able to make a comment before their call. So the time is quite short, but I think I don't think this is anything new, and we're not like you know trying to develop a new position or anything. It's simply an observation that um, you know keeping with the principles will still be consistent with our proposal. So um, may I suggest that um, we we target to send this um, to the CWG before their call. So say maybe before UTC, what, um, I don't know, 16. And um, so after this call, um, I'll circulate a draft and then see if people have anything to add. So it would be great if you can comment within an hour or so. Um, oh, sorry, thank you, yes, UTC-19, you're right. Um, so, um, yeah, it would be great if we, people can come back with the feedback within um, an hour, and then uh, let's try to send this in before the call, on um, CWG call. Okay, um, I'm not seeing any hands. So, um, is there anything else that um, people would like to discuss around the IPR issue? Oh, just to, as an update. So we did, we, as you are aware, we have been um, regularly having this um, informational exchange call with the CWG, IANA plan, and ICG chairs, and um, we're planning to have another update call um, with them on Monday, next Monday. 
and I think we've pretty much been updating you about what's happening. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll keep you up if anything comes up after our um, informational call on Monday. Lee does a lot of work, Lee does a lot of work there. Uh, the numbering, uh, Lee's done a lot of work there. I've done a lot of work there. Ron, Lee's done a lot of work there. Um, and Payne, uh, this is where all the money is. The other thing I wanted to point out was that Lance is not here, <laughs> but Lance, oh, we can see the George. No. But Lance, Lance was just recently elected to the MEP. John, are you speaking? Because um, we can't quite hear you. I think uh, Simi was also like almost or was elected or was a runner up. End up like. Three finalists for John. Are you speaking to us? Because we can't quite hear you. Professional of the year, so got a lot of yeah, good things I, going on. Is there any? I think he might have come off mute. So maybe could we ask then our secretariat to mute him? Thank you. Um. Right. So. If there's no further issue to cover for, um, oh, thank you, Narani. So it is uh, um, UTC 17 until 19. Okay. So I think it, I think our we'll, uh, next step still remains that after this call, I'll draft um, a text and then um, would like to call for your feedback within an hour. Okay. Um, and then I think um, then let's move to the last point on the agenda, which is SLA version um, two. Don't think we have um, much further updates since the last call, and um, except that we we are going to encourage you to make a, a obs make your observation before our next call on the 26th, I believe, so that um, we can. Um, you know, send your comments on the Christine mailing list um, before this, and we can discuss uh, uh, how we're going to respond at the call, and then uh, we can submit a response by the end of this month. That's what um, we'd like to, um, how we'd like to proceed. And is there any general observation that people already have about the SLA? One thing that I'd like to um, um, suggest is that in addition to uh, a gen um, a comment about the content itself, um, it may be worth um, asking the, the RIRs about the next step um, after this process. So once this community consultation process is over, what would be the expected next step? So, I would assume that it, um, RARs will enter into negotiation with ICANN, and then what will be the steps after this? So I think having this clarity about what's going to happen in the process until um, the SLA text uh, finally gets fixed is um, important in terms of um, transparency in the process and uh, making sure that um, the RARs are being accountable to the community um, about this process. So that's. Um, one thing I'd like to suggest um, as a general comment um, about the SLA. Another thing I'd like to suggest is, um, is that um, we, since ICANN themselves have um, submitted a comment to SLA version one, and I've, I've also seen a response from Steve Crocker that um, he is planning to, ICANN board is planning to make a comment for SLA version two. So given that um, you know, all the responses and comments are being public, that we don't, we wouldn't be expecting any um, surprises and uh, substantial changes um, in, in terms of um, what's being proposed from for the numbers community. So this is something that um, uh, we may be uh, able to add as a general observation about the proposal itself, um, in addition to going into the details of the SLA. 
Um, thank you, Nurani, for expressing support for this um, approach. Um, let's see if there's any other comments. Okay, um, good to see support. Thank you, Nurani. Um, then I suppose that we'll just um, continue welcoming feedback on, online. And I'll send a reminder again because we have many things on our plate. So um, once we have completed the submission um, of the ICG response uh, to the community, I'll send a reminder about the SLA version 2. So I think I've pretty much covered what I wanted to um, discuss at this call. And let's see if anything else that people would like, like to raise, discuss, um, while we're all here. OK. Um, I'm not seeing any hands. So um, thank you, Mwendawa, for your comment as well on the chat. Um, so thank you very much. So that was a smooth call. So we'll meet again on the 26th, the same time, UTC 13. And as I need it at next action, um, so I'll be circulating a comment to the CWG uh, about our observation about the process. Okay, so thanks very much, everyone, and have a nice day, have a nice evening, wherever you are, um, depending on the time set. So thanks. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everyone. So, so, so. So.